a lady. One lady. <sighs> you guys have no idea how much I love doing this. It's so much more fun than my day job. Because I've been a nurse for 20 long years. Yeah, don't. No. I'm a very bad nurse. I almost called out of work to be here tonight, but I said, you know what, Steph? Don't screw over your coworkers. So I went in, and then I snuck out. They just think I'm on a really long smoke break. And I don't even smoke. I carry around a pack of cigarettes just in case I need to get out of doing some like nasty nurse stuff, you know? And people ask me all the time, they're like, Steph, you're obviously a very caring nurse. We can tell. Why stand up? And the answer is, I was tired, people. Tired of killing my patients. Yeah. I said, you need to kill people with laughter and not incompetence. So here I am, trying my hardest. Plus, my husband has always been telling me for years that I was funny and I should try stand-up. But we're all adults here. This is a man that I blow on a regular basis. So I think he's a little bit biased against my so-called comedic talent, you know? So what I do, I ask one of my patients what she thought. Now I can't mention her by name, because of HIPAA. Yeah. But I like to call her D.O.B. Not date of birth, dumb old bitch. And she was, she was mean. You know what she said to me? She said, you cannot possibly be any worse than you are a nurse. So I say, go for it. And I was like shocked. I was like, I thought I was a good She's like, no, you're not. She's like, in fact, I've never said this to anybody, but please quit your day job before you kill people. And I'm like, oh, it's late. But I took her advice. Yeah. I took her advice. And I was doing well. I went back to find her to tell her things were going well. And I was, you know, good. She was dead. And you guys are sick. But she was right, because I was a nurse, I didn't know she was sick. <laughs> 20 years I was a nurse. She made me realize how important insulin is to those diabetics. Yeah. I know I'm up here looking all superheroish, you know, killing it as a nurse. Mom of three. I'm also a, an Army veteran. Go Army. I'm a bad veteran too, don't worry. Yeah. But sometimes I screw up too, people. You know, I think last week I permanently traumatized one of my kids because he saw me naked. It was horrible. It was horrible. You know, I was just drying off, coming from the shower. He barges in the bathroom. Our eyes locked. It got real quiet and tense, kind of like in here. Except luckily, I got clothes on today. Then he screamed, and I laughed. And I said, eyes up here, kid. My eyes are up here. Yeah. Then he ran away. And I don't know what this says about me as a mother, but my first thought was not, oh my God, my kid just saw me naked. No. My first thought was, yeah. No, not yeah, that he saw me naked. Yeah that I got that boob job. Because <laughs> now this kid knows that those titties he drained completely years ago have been completely and totally remodeled. Yeah. With his college fund. <laughs> so then I went to his room because he ran away and he was laying there on the ground sobbing hysterically in the fetal position rather dramatically. And I looked down at him and I said, listen here, you basement dweller. This is what happens when you live at home with your mommy 
till you're 25 years old. <laughs> now take the memory of me, embed it in your little millennial brain, and use it to motivate you to move out of my house. <laughs> He's still there. All right. I'm 